அவருக்கு வணக்கம் just now our professor rao uh, he told about gap actually that is only my uh, topic today there is a huge gap here all our users like me these assistive technology users we know how important it is and uh, like professor rao and other uh, professors and uh, your staff here you all also know that how important it is but what about this mainstream society what they are thinking about this assistive technologies so you are seeing me sitting in this wheelchair happily moving around automatic wheelchair i have a car also i can drive that car recently i went to my native place so the after a long time i went in my car so i felt so i was like a very excited now i have this automatic chair i have my car i can go around the place in my native place it's a village i thought like that but what happened you know after going there i was confined to bed only because if i want to get down there will be some steps like that uh, wooden uh, this one will be there in villages to enter into houses right so everywhere those things are there if i got up from that uh, got down from the bed somebody has to bring the wheelchair and somebody has to help me to lift my wheelchair to go out so everywhere like that so every time i i didn't want to trouble others so i i thought that it's better to sit on my bed and after that i went to my friends places in my car most of my friends houses i could not go inside most of their houses are in first floor second floor like that without lift they used to come down but nothing hospitality <laughs> no this one no compromise they brought food also to me they somebody offered clothes everything in the car only so they told me that they are also facing now problems because their mother in law father in law are they themselves got some knee pains nowadays you know 30 40 years itself people are getting knee pains now they were not able to climb stairs but they constructed houses in such a way now they are not able to keep any lift also so then it is a clear indication that accessibility is not only for persons with disabilities accessibility is everyone's need only time differs we may need immediately other persons when as age grows they need it so another thing also so now let us see why society is finding it difficult to accept these assistive technologies so first thing is i will tell here also one my personal example i am staying in one elite community there is a swimming pool pre pandemic times my father used to help me to come out from the pool post pandemic i didn't have swimming for two years so my muscles became weak and my father also didn't have walking all those things so his muscles also became weak he was not able to lift for me if somebody is lifting also it was so difficult my neck and neck muscles wrist muscles everything pain so i try to hire some other person my father i wrote one article on my father like <laughs> uh, volunteer at my disposal so he will always be available for me right but when he was not able to support me when i try to hire one person it is very difficult for getting one person just to lift from swimming pool who will come and just to do that work and go with a difficult great difficulty i got one person but that person was not able to do after that he he left then i i suggested to my apartment community i, I at my cost i will uh, install one swimming pool please permit me from that time you will get surprised what are all the things happen it's a elite community all other people are working in corporates in senior positions or they are owning their own organizations but even then they don't know about this swimming pool lift 
so they had so many doubts one thing they are thinking it's a common place why we need they are thinking it's only madhavi's need i told in the beginning anybody can use it just allow me to put that one then they thought that it's a common place why should we allow this one person they thought it's a personal favor so that first point insensitivity they were not able to understand that what is our requirement i try to tell even other elderly people can use and next is lack of knowledge about this assistive technologies so because they don't know about that they have so many fears and doubts like uh, they told that because of installing this lift that swimming pool may be uh, that wall may be collapsed or building adjacent to that swimming pool may be collapsed or compound wall so that were their doubts so but generally here assistive technologies are there you tell me anybody can uh, anybody will manufacture a product design a product which will damage its base uh, whatever that uh, facility they is going to use suppose if anybody uses uh, man designs a swimming pool lift which damages swimming pool who will buy that one so nobody will do that one right but the fears and doubts and next about the supportive legal provisions that also lack of knowledge uh, as per our national building code all these facilities must be accessible common facility in apartments you all know about public facilities means office wherever we are going we know those things but not only that one our apartment common facilities are also like public place public place means if it is not private it is public so common amenities in an apartment it is a public thing right so that should be accessible as per rights of persons with disabilities act and as per national building code also and another thing when builders are giving their proposals with their building plans if that government officials who are providing those approvals if they take care of that why this is not accessible then they will change that plan right so that lenient enforcement of related laws that is another thing next is concern of impact that they will think that this beauty will get spoiled because we are keeping this assistive technology one device we are keeping array it will the beauty will get affected and then people will think that it may cost more but most of the assistive devices may be affordable as professor rao told that even they are uh, trying to bring that if it is expensive also they are trying to bring it down with the support of many other people so these are all the main challenges i told through one example but they, there are so many other examples uh, i am uh, founder president of wheelchair basketball federation of india our sports wheelchairs are meant for wooden courts but when we go and check with any stadium indoor stadium people or uh, that facility owners they don't want to give that place to us thinking that their wooden court will get spoiled because of these chairs i used to tell them no no our wheelchairs will get damaged if we play outside on the cement court but there are so many uh, sorry can okay so there are those are all the challenges now how can we solve these uh, issues one is inclusivity through universal design so uh, for the other assistive technologies they all know very well in front of them i can't speak but for other people who don't know just i want to tell the difference between inclusive design designs and universal designs suppose tv remote if you take every one of us are using tv remote either disabled person or non disabled person everyone there is no differentiation that is universal design suppose for a stage like this one side steps are there one side ramp is there so that is inclusive because i am a wheelchair user i am using ramp some other non disabled person using steps so that is inclusive but the some segregation is there between a person with disability and without disability so universal is the 
very uh, nice model. Inclusive is better, but if that is also not there, <laughs> that is the worst situation we are facing. Uh, and then collaboration with the related bodies, like I told, uh, Sir told right now, like we need to cooperate, we need to be in touch with educational institutions, even this type of uh, apartment communities. With everyone, we need to be in touch. Otherwise, even these assistive technologies, they may bring so many devices, but if people don't know and if they are not accepting, we can't use them. And sensitization, uh, uh, awareness creation across demographics and issuance of legal policies and effective implementation. Without that effective implementation, no use. Even that local legal provisions are there. Suppose in this my apartment issue, I, when I try, try to tell them there are legal provisions, they are telling, okay, you are telling, but recently constructed gated communities, these facilities are not there. What, Marvi, you are telling so many legal provisions are there. Yes, really it is there, but effective implementation is not there. So now, first thing, if you take inclusivity through universal design concepts, as I told right now, uh, you can see in that two cars said there, the example what I told, the right side car, the people who are high, strong enough, they can only enter into this one. Left side, anybody can enter. After sitting in the car, we can increase the height or decrease the height. So for that, there is no differentiation. Because I am short person, I need to use this car. Because I am a short, tall person, I it's no differentiation is there. Just one facility they kept, increasing seat height and decreasing. And then it's uh, inclusive, uh, inclusivity should be a part of design curriculum. So all these architects or engineers, when they are studying, they should know these things. From there it should start, that the inclusivity should be there. And as a mandatory acceptance criteria, that means any design when they are doing, they have to see that some acceptance criteria will be there because of so many reasons, either legal or some other technical things, safety or something. So that it should fit, inclusivity should be there in that acceptance criteria. If it is there, they won't get a, a, a approval, right? When they design that product, they won't get the approval. And next is uh, cohesive inclusivity and universality. Uh, other one, collaboration, as I told, collaboration is very, very important and notification of policies and strict regulation. That is the without strict enforcement, even after having these legal policies, no use. So we all need to, as a buy, as buyers, as consumers, we need to know first. Suppose if in the example I told, as a buyer of a home, you need to demand all these common facilities must be accessible. Because tomorrow I will become old or my parents are there, my grandparents are there. So that is why I need this one. From buyer also demand should start. Then only when consumers start demanding such things, then automatically whoever is manufacturing, they will make that facility as inclusive, right? And next is about sensitization. Accessibility, as I told, everyone's right. Buyers, consumers, they need to know first their rights and then they start demanding for that. Again, this inclusivity here also will come as a part of design curriculum. I will tell you one example. Recently, one of my friends told me she studied in Sweden. So there, it is a zero waste country. She went to one of the, her friend's house. There, for waste, to keep waste, five color boxes are there. And one of the small, youngest kid, that kid is telling her to keep which one in which box. That is the uh, norm there. That youngest of the uh, family should tell the guests what to do that one. So that is the best example. Anything, no, if we create awareness, when, if it is a corporate, when somebody is entering into our organization, there itself we need to make them understand that D and I, diversity and inclusion is part of their DNA. When they know, when while entering into the organization, you see how it will be. From there itself, like how they are starting with the kids, it should be like that. 
and inclusivity as a mandatory acceptance criteria same thing plus <coughs> if it is in the acceptance cri mandatory thing at least people will try to learn about that know about that and another thing what i would like to tell to the either manufacturers <coughs> or builders is you can brand your product you are telling that this is the requirement of everyone not just persons <coughs> with disabilities so you are telling your customer i am not only taking care of your present needs your future needs also i am taking care by adding this inclusion in my products or my constructions so they can use it so there you can see handbook on rights of persons with disabilities we brought out through our trust ywtc in uh, partnership with khaitan and co it's one of the biggest uh, legal firms in india just to people we don't know no what uh, support legal provisions are there which one we need to go uh, which act all those things so we try to bring all those things just as a simple one handbook and the issuance of legal policies here i would like to tell convincing right now there are so many legal provisions that itself uh, those uh, legal provisions itself are not being implemented effectively but there are more requirements when it comes to like a, as i told swimming pool thing no uh, leisure and sports our act is not covering wide uh, comprehensively the way americans with the disabilities act they cover so they mentioned in that act that swimming pool if the size is this one one ramp one ramp or one swimming pool lift can be uh, kept if bigger than that both should be there swimming pool lift and what should be the length breadth height everything they, they gave minute things we also need to have such type of very comprehensive guidelines on all aspects covering all aspects it's not me going for job or just uh, uh, coming home i want to have i want to go and play i want to have my leisure time happily i want to spend somewhere so everything should be accessible right so those clear guidelines we need otherwise we persons with disabilities face problems when we are uh, facing some our pe people around us next uh, in our country also we have so many uh, legal provisions like rights of persons with disabilities act uh, 2016 and further amendments are also there revisions a national building code and harmonized guidelines and space standards for barrier free built environment if it is followed strictly enforced then we won't face this type of problems i went because after this issue somehow we could install right now after that to uh, to support other people others should not face this issue i went and met the principal secretary of tamil nadu government uh, housing and urban development department cmd a member secretary and disability welfare secretary and commissioner also but still i need to meet some more officials in this regard just i am trying to put my efforts i want to meet builders associations also our job is what we can do we have to try put all our efforts to create awareness and bureau of indian standards also is there so these are all my thoughts that all of us please we need to understand whatever we are talking about inclusivity please don't think it is only for persons with disabilities accessibility is everyone's need everyone's right thank you thank you for the opportunity